schools are hyper about pink eyes. I mean, they really are. And, you know, any child comes to school with a red, goopy eye, they're going to be called down to the nursing room. The parents are going to be called to come pick that child up. A case of pink eye is no fun for children, especially young ones. It's no picnic for the parent either. Just ask T. Lee Starnes. Her daughter, Chloe, has suffered with the condition several times. When Chloe woke up, her eye, one of her eyes was completely matted shut, like the goo had gotten over her eyelashes and they had just crusted together. And you know, you have to get like a warm washcloth and put it on them and, and, in order to get that stuff off. And you know, at, at the age of two, they're kind of, they don't really like you rubbing their eyes. They want to be left alone. Medical experts say the term pink eye commonly refers to bacterial conjunctivitis. The inner lid and the white part of the eye become red or inflamed and a discharge dries on the eyelashes, leaving the child unable to open his or her eyelid. If you see a child come in with a goopy red eye, then you're going to treat it as bacterial. If it's better in 24, 48 hours, it is bacterial and you're going to treat for about five to seven days. If five to seven days later it's still red or inflamed, it's probably viral and it'll clear up eventually on its own. While pink eye is highly contagious, doctors say it cannot be spread through the air by one child coughing on another. Pink eye is basically going to be transferred from one person's eye to another person's eye by the route of the hand or some inanimate object that they both touch or play with. The good news is antibacterial eye drops or ointment will usually help clear up the condition. The bad news is that you have to get your child to let you administer that medication. The doctors prescribed um, eye drops, which is not fun to give eye drops to a two-year-old. I believe we probably um, had some kind of reward system with her. You know, if, if she would let us give her the eye drops, then she probably got some kind of chocolate or, you know, something like that. If your child develops pink eye, it's important for you, the parent, to wash your hands thoroughly after treating the child to make sure you don't spread the infection. It's also important to make sure you treat both of the child's eyes with the antibiotic drops or ointment. And that's got to be an always thing because the child's hand will move from one eye to the other. He'll rub his right eye and then he'll inevitably rub his left eye. Dr. Fesmeyer also reminds parents that it only takes about 24 hours for the antibiotics to kick in and start clearing up the redness. That means your child should be ready to go back to daycare or school in a day or so and life can get back to normal. For Smart Medicine, I'm Lorinka Chola.